How would you describe your character? Uh, my character, Jeff, is sort of, he's 22 years old, and he's just graduated from college, and he's incredibly, um, incredibly smart and, and really sort of with it as far as his career is concerned and as far as his dreams and he sort of writes in his spare time and he wants to be an architect and he's really passionate about his job um, and really forward thinking as far as all that stuff is concerned but he's very young and very immature when it comes to relationships and when it comes to sexuality he's a virgin and so he's sort of an interesting combination because he's really accelerated and mature in one part of his life, but incredibly inexperienced and sort of um, immature in another part of his life. And through the course of the movie, he sort of goes through his own sort of uh, coming of age and, and, and hopefully learns something in the end. Was there anything about his character that you could relate to? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've... I've spent so much time over the past couple of years working in the theater and, and have spent so much time thinking about my career and thinking about becoming a better actor and taking classes and challenging myself. And so as far as that part of Jeff's brain, as far as his, um, as far as his mind is concerned in, in, in his career, I can totally connect to that. And I haven't really like personally had a lot of like relationships over the past couple of years because I've been so focused on my career and so I completely relate to him. Awesome. Have you had sex with two sisters and a mother recently? It's on uh, having sex with in that way is on my list but it hasn't really happened yet, no. If it had I certainly wouldn't tell you. <laughs> I think I could get it out of you actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um no seriously what attracted you to the role? Well, I read, the, I read Jeff's script uh, a couple of months ago, and my agent had been sending me scripts for movies. I really wanted to do, I'd done one other film before this, but, but uh, that was it. And so I'd done a lot of theater and was really looking to do another movie. And I kept reading scripts that were like, you know, about teenagers, and they were sort of predictable and, you know, sweet and and fine but nothing was really challenging nothing to me was really fascinating or interesting and when I picked up Jeff's script for this movie I couldn't put it down and I had no idea what was going to happen next and I was really intrigued by these very very complex characters I think everyone every character that he's written in the in the movie are really true and really at the same at once really true and at once really surprising and so I felt like I was connecting to the characters, but at the same time, I never really knew what was going to happen next, and I found them really fascinating. And so as soon as I put it down, I thought, I got to do this. I got to do this part. I got to do this movie. And also emotionally, it's a real, as an actor, uh, the writing is so good, and uh, it's a real sort of, it's a real challenge. Because you really, when the writing is really great and the characters are really, um, complex, you as an actor really have to step up to be able to honor that material. So I was ready for the challenge. Awesome. Now speaking of that, I don't know if, if you were familiar with Jeff, Jeff's other films before, but he does. He writes a re very rich, you know, deep character. And mm -hmm. so this is really very, you know, reminiscent of, of his style. But um, how is it? I mean, how is it working with Jeff? I know you, you know, you worked with Ang Lee. This is a this is a smaller independent film. What's been the experience? Working on this film, you know, I haven't done a lot of films before, and so uh, the film I did, the other, the only one other film I did was uh, I was a supporting character. So I was there a couple of days a week, but I wasn't there every day on set. And part of the joy of this is that so far, I mean. So far, I've spent almost every day on the set with the crew, and I think Jeff Lipsky, the author and director, not my character, um, I think he brings people together that are sort of of the same mind and of the same personality, and so working on this set has been a real gift because the crew, uh, the crew, everyone involved, the hair and makeup, the costume people, everyone because it's an independent film and it's so small and it's such a small budget, everyone's really passionate about the movie and passionate about the work. 
And I feel really lucky because everyone's been so positive and you spend at least 12 hours a day with everyone on the set. And so far, I mean, we're going into our last week, so anything can happen. But so far, it's been really um, a really warm atmosphere. And, and it feels like a little family, even though we've only had two weeks together so far. Everyone's really passionate about the project and passionate about each other's work. Like every, all of the actors really admire everyone else's work and the, and the people behind the camera are admiring the actor's work. And I think we all believe in each other and, and sort of believe in what we're working on. And so you can't really, you can't really ask for anything, anything more than that. It's pretty special. I think that's so neat that you saw that as a positive, that you're here every day. That's, yeah. that, that's a testament to you. And, and seriously, I mean, I, I, w I would like to hear you talk about that because, you know, because it is, there are long days mm -hmm. and, you know, I guess it's somewhat of a grind, a lot of sit around and wait. But what does that, um, what, you know, obviously I think that's because of Jeff's direction. What type of director is he that makes it where you want to be here or don't mind being here every day? Well, from the minute that I met Jeff, the first thing I think that sort of comes across when you sit down and have dinner with him or sit down and have a discussion with him is that he's extremely passionate about movies in general, especially about his movie. He loves actors and acting and the creative process. And so the minute that you sit down with Jeff, you're immediately like, oh, oh, you immediately makes you excited. It's uh, it's um it totally rubs off on you just in talking to him. And, uh, and so that's sort of, you know, they say the attitude sort of starts at the top and sort of works its way down. And so Jeff being the writer and the director is obviously sort of the top of the pyramid. And so to have someone that's really passionate about, about um, this film and really egoless as well, you would think that a director writer would maybe be very precious about his work and very, um, egotistical but it's really not the case he's very open to new ideas and open to everyone's suggestions and and just really passionate about making a good movie and making sure that everybody is taken care of and that's been from the minute I met him to you know yesterday on the set he's been that way and I think that he makes everyone feel really comfortable and makes everyone feel like their voices are being heard and makes everyone feel like their talents are are worthwhile and necessary to the project and so everyone then feels like they're there to do a great job and also I come from the theater a theater background and so the thing that also really fascinates me about a film set is that you know when you do eight shows a week the crew while they are working hard sort of knows when to sort of sit back and relax and you're sort of doing a scene and there's not a light change for a while so they're chatting or whatever but in a film you know, you have one day to sort of get a scene right. And it's, you have that moment, that day, and then you'll never do it ever again. And so the, the director of photography, the DP, has to be totally on his game. And they're doing his job, making sure he captures the right thing. The actors have to be completely focused on what they're doing to make sure they capture it in the moment. The script supervisor has to be watching it every second to make sure nothing is missed. The hair and makeup people are there, you know. Everyone is so intensely focused on that one thing and that day that it's sort of, it's like, it's like a tunnel vision for that day. Everyone is so intensely focused and it's thrilling because no one's sort of sitting back, no one can sort of sit back and be relaxed, especially because we only have an 18 day shoot and so time is money. And, uh, and everyone really feels that pressure of like, okay, we, you know, we only have a couple of takes to get this. And so it's very heightened and very passionate on set, on set every day, which is really exciting. So you find that motivating to you as well. You know you have to nail it. Yes. That yeah. When you're, when you're doing yeah, just a couple of takes and you only have one day, you definitely feel like, all right, I've got to get this together. Here we go. This is the one sort of couple of shots that we have. So it really focuses everyone. Uh, to really to really do their best work fast do you find did you find it a hard transition to go from you know acting on stage to film or is it I feel I feel very lucky that I I started I was talking to, about this at dinner the other night I feel very lucky that I started in theater because I really feel like um, theater is a place where I think actors learn how to act 
you get to do something over and over and over again and you get to get better at it by doing it every day and it's part of the joy of that doing something eight times a week is use your emotional you know you work your emotional muscle in the same way that you work work out at the gym you know and make your bicep bigger you know when you go every day to the theater and go through an emotional journey you you know hopefully if you're really there and you're focused you get better every day and coming on a film set you don't have that chance to rehearse and do something over and over again so especially in this film the certain emotional sort of things that I have to do I feel like I've spent several years preparing to be able to do this in you know 15 minutes on my close-up do you know what I mean as a you know all this all this work in the theater I feel like has really prepared me to be able to show up on one day on a film set without any rehearsal and really go there emotionally so I feel really lucky that I started in the theater yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Seriously. Now, was it, um, how did you feel about doing some of the nude scenes? I mean, is that, is that not a big deal? You get into character, character or was that difficult? I, I think, at least for me, nudity is always a big deal. Um, and I'd, I've done a, several plays where there's been nudity involved, and my sort of rule, my little personal rule about it, is that if the writing is really great and it doesn't feel gratuitous and it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable in a bad way, um, then, you know, go ahead, let's be brave and let's try and do it. And when I read Jeff's, Jeff's script, I saw that there was nudity and I really, I really did think about it for a long time and talked about it with my friends and my family and talked about it with Jeff. And I rented flannel pajamas and, and sort of saw that the nudity only sort of added to the realism of that movie and and I hope you know hopefully you know when we see this film it'll be the same thing that it helps it helps bring a, a genuine quality and a rawness and a reality to the film um, that sometimes people feel like they have to skirt around things or they have to skirt around things because it's not an independent film but in independent film I feel like you have you know some more liberties of, of making things a little more real and a little more dangerous and uh, the nudity in this film for me feels incredibly exposing and incredibly uh, raw and emotional and scary but it also feels really right and uh, you know it also helps that on this set people are very warm and kind and it just so happened due to weather that the our very first day of shooting was the day that we got a lot of the nudity in and our very day one and uh it was just really great because Portia who I play opposite of in the movie and I um had a I think we had a pretty good sense of humor about it and and laughed about it and and uh and the people around us on the set helped keep it light and and were very respectful so that certainly helped but the nudity in the film felt to me and continues to feel, and on the day that we shot it, felt um, it felt right. Oh, that was a great answer. Love that answer. And you touched upon this a little bit earlier, but you know, D Jeff does a fabulous um, job of casting people where the chemistries, you yeah. know, all work. But tell us, how is it? Um, you know, how have your the relationships with the the other cast members been for you? Well, at Portia, who I play opposite of for a good first third of the movie, and I got really lucky because we worked together two years ago on a soap opera. She was on one of the recurring characters on One Life to Live for about a year, and I came on for about a month or two and played um, a guy a guy who was completely in love with her and obsessed with her, which is weird because it's I'm playing you know the same thing in this movie. And, uh, and so I felt really lucky because we knew each other, felt comfortable with each other, and uh, I saw her. She was the first person I saw when I got to the airport on the way to Iowa, and it was just sort of like, you know, it's scary when you start a new job and, and there's new people, especially when the new job is really intense and the person that you're playing opposite of, it's a very intense sort of relationship. And we already sort of had a rapport, and, and I feel really lucky that we had each other through this for the first you know, week and a half or so. And she's really incredibly, she's only 19 years old, and she's incredibly gifted and super smart and incredibly mature, and we had a really great time for the first, it was just the two of us for the first week and a half, 
and we laughed a lot and had a great time and so I felt really lucky that I had that I had worked with her before and uh, Mamie Gummer who plays Mora she and I had done a movie the other movie that I did was she, we we were in almost every scene together and so I had known her before the movie as well and we as well have some intense scenes in this movie and so having that sort of layer of comfort there you know before the job even began was a real was a real gift and uh, the people that are playing my parents Karen and Reed um, are two actors that I'm huge fans of and we start work with them this week I haven't I haven't done a scene with them yet so I'm really excited to, to start working with them um, it's always great to work with people that you really look up to and it certainly is the case with them it's sort of I feel like I feel really lucky because with this movie I get to work with people who are my peers and who are my age and we're sort of, you know, going through this together as well as a couple of actors who um, I really admire from afar and have admired from afar and I'm looking forward to sort of suck information out of. So it's a good, it's a nice balance. Yeah, you're really good. I, you're very expressive. Now, is there a favorite scene? Is there one particular scene that you'll remember, talk about? Hmm. Whether whether it was challenging or, I think the the most ch the ch most challenging scene that I had so far uh, was the scene uh, that I have with Mora, where I rape her in a closet. Um, we only did uh, three takes of that scene, thank God, and uh, it was it was just. It was really out of body. I mean, when you sort of go through that um, thing, it's so emotionally intense that it really is like you have an out of body experience because with emotional scenes like that, you can't phone it in. You can't really fake it. You can't be feeling one thing on the inside and expressing something else on the outside. You can't really lie. You sort of have to commit 100%. And so to commit 100% to something so horrifying and uncomfortable and complicated is, uh, is really challenging. And uh, it was, I was like shaking after it was over. So that was probably the most challenging scene for me. The, my favorite scene, let me think for a second. What was my favorite scene that we've done so far? Kissing Portia? Was kissing <laughs> Portia. The day I saw Portia naked. No, my favorite scene, I think, I think that my favorite scene that we had so far, one of the first scenes in the movie, I think it's like the second, second or third scene in the movie, um, uh, Jeff invites Mel to go to this church, the Church of the Open Door. And uh, the scene was really fun to do, but uh, beyond doing the scene, the church that Jeff found is this location, was two hours outside of where we're staying here in Cedar Rapids, and it's, it's titled The World's Smallest Church. And I don't know if that's true, but the church is extremely small. And the day that we went there to shoot the scene, it was so beautiful and sort of in the middle of nowhere. And uh, the skies were like beautifully blue, and it was just the most incredible day. And there was this, it was just this quaint little like tiny church that maybe could fit eight people. And you really felt like you were in a very like magical, magical location it was such a beautiful day and so i think that was one of my favorite days on set jeff is saying the same thing that's one of his top things too for all the, all those reasons you mentioned yeah. now with the kind of the rape thing aside do you, when you're playing this jeff do you feel like some of that character a, after working with jeff lipsky that maybe some of that um was, was uh, autobiography you know Autobiographical. <laughs> that one, autobiographical of the writer director. Yeah, it's so funny because when uh, we were about our third or fourth day into shooting the movie, and I, you know, we were having dinners with Jeff, and obviously you spend twelve hours a day with someone or the whole crew, and you start to get to really know everyone better. And I was like, oh my god, I started to really get it because my character has these long speeches, and Jeff loves to talk and loves to go off on tangents and say like tell you stories and talk about his favorite movies and and he's very talkative and very 
garrulous, which is a vocab word that I learned in this movie. Um, very garrulous. And, uh, and I realized about a couple of days into the shooting that I was essentially like in some of these moments playing Jeff Lipsky. And I was like, oh my God, now I understand how to say this line or how to go to this moment or whatever. Because I don't know if Jeff has experienced what this character has experienced, but certainly in the speech patterns and in the, in the ways that he talks and goes on and his passion about his becoming an architect is the same as, Jeff, as Jeff's passion about his movies. Uh, it's very, very similar. And so spending time with Jeff has been really great and really fun, you know, personally, but it's also been sort of like actor homework for me because I sort of am learning a lot about my character and spending time with Jeff, absolutely. I already asked him if he had sex with mother and two daughters, and he hasn't yet. So he hasn't yet, in okay. Case you were, in case you didn't feel like you could ask. Okay, him. okay. <laughs> Not in the same family, anyway. <laughs> Good but, to um, know. Kind of to wrap it up, how would you, how would you describe 1230 to your friends, family, or whomever? I think that 1230 is a story about a dysfunctional family that I think everyone can probably relate to. And it's a story about how this boy, and it's a sort of like two stories. It's a story about a dysfunctional family, and it's also a coming-of-age story about this boy. And the two sort of come together, and through them coming together, the family sort of ends up healing itself. And I think that's sort of what the basis story is about. I think that the story is a lot about um, forgiveness. And I think it's about the importance of communication and the importance of communicating within your family and the importance of communication in relationships and, and the importance sort of, of being honest with yourself and being open enough, to, being open and self-aware enough to be able to really have a great relationship, whether it's with your mom or your dad or your sister or your girlfriend or whatever, but really the importance of sort of opening yourself up and and being sure to keep the lines of communication open and honest.